Today we're going to be looking at neutralization reactions, which is when you take an acid and react it with a base. The products are always going to be water and a salt. Now by salt, usually people think of sodium chloride, the salt that we put on our foods, but a salt in chemistry is just an ionic compound that's not an acid or a base. So we're going to be forming water and some ionic compound. So let's take a look at this kind of abstractly first. We've got our acid, which has H plus, combined with some other negative ion. And then we have our base, which is hydroxide, combined with some other positive ion. A neutralization reaction is essentially just a specific subcategory of a double replacement reaction. The H plus is going to combine with the OH minus to form water. And that leaves you with these two other ions that are going to combine to form the salt, Y and X. Remember, the positive ion is always written before the negative ion. And we would crisscross the charges to figure out what the subscripts would be. Now for water, you can write it as H2O, or you can leave it as HOH. I sometimes like to leave it as HOH because it helps me when I'm balancing it to remember that one of the H's came from the acid, one of the other H's is part of that hydroxide ion from the base, but either way is fine. So let's look at a couple of examples here. We have HCl with sodium hydroxide. The H is going to combine with the OH, so H plus and OH minus are going to come together to form water. That means the other two ions, the Cl from the acid and the Na from the base, are going to combine. We need to think about the charges. Na is a plus one charge. Cl is a minus one charge. So we will get NaCl as the salt and HOH or H2O as water. We're going to double check. And in this case, everything is already balanced. Our next example, we have H2SO4 plus KOH. Again, the H plus is going to combine with the OH minus to form water. Now we do have two H pluses here and one OH minus here. We'll take care of the balancing it later. But right now we have H plus combining with OH minus, which will give us the water. And then the other two ions, we have the SO4, which is a negative two charge, and the K plus, which is a positive one charge. When we crisscross those charges, I do need K2SO4 because the K is a plus one charge and the SO4 is a negative two charge. So K2SO4 plus HOH or H2O. Now this is not balanced yet, so we do need to do the balancing, which will require a two in front of the KOH and the H2O. So that gives us our two Ks, two Ks, we had two H pluses, so two H pluses here, two OH minuses, two OH minuses here. The other thing that we can do, in addition to acid plus base is going to produce what is the salt, is kind of go backwards and say, all right, if I have K2SO4 forming the salt, what acid and base must I have started with? Well, to do that, we're going to look and say, all right, K2SO4 is made up of K plus, and SO4 two minus. Well, the acid has to have an H with it, and the base would have the OH with it. So the positive ion is always going to be combining with the OH minus ion, and the negative ion from the salt has to have combined with the H plus. So this tells me that I have to have started with KOH. Again, we can crisscross to get what those charges would have been and H2SO4, crisscrossing those charges. So if you're given the salt and you wanna come up with the acid and the base, figure out what two ions are making up that salt. The positive ion is going to combine with however many hydroxides it needs to become neutral, giving you the base. The negative ion is going to combine with however many H pluses it needs to make it neutral and gives you the acid. 